Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Let's continue the series of uh, SNCF 317. Today's uh, video is not about uh, the course, it's just how uh, to configure uh, setting up uh, Windows Server 2016 to make it as a domain controller, active directory, and DNS server. The reason uh, why I'm recording this video actually i want you to be with me uh the same level i don't want you to open a video then i will tell you that uh, this is the domain controller and active directory and dns uh, server that i have configured then uh, like uh, the student will be lost uh, what happened i know like the majority of you uh, know how to set up and configure it so but let's let, let's doing that together I prefer it actually. If the one is knowing how to do that, just skip this video. Um, let's go. Okay, here also I prepared site number two for you. Actually, I cheated, just I put a link because I need this uh, to uh, explain for you the objects because the objects is there is a concept related to uh, the site one and site two, how to do it. So, actually, this is the right time. To do that and we will register the two firewall together uh, we will explain it later because i will set it up when i come to the side to side vpn videos for that but for the time being just forget about it and just go to uh, windows server here of course we put it in the dmz uh, port as you remember and we give it 192.168 dot uh, 30 dot 200 here as a static ip address great the dns preferred i put it the loopback ip address so it means it will be uh, itself the dns server and the internet one is going to google great so uh, let's hurry up and configure it as a domain controller so we'll go add rules and features Server collecting, okay. Again, great. Next, uh, rule based, yes. Next, it will be in the DC server. Yeah, this is what I want. So, here you have to enable Active Directory uh, domain service, add features, and at the same time, I will add DCP server. I will make a DHCP server because I need to make. Uh, we explained in the previous videos that we made the firepower to be a DHCP server, but there is a case of a DHCP relay agent, and there is be a, de a dedicated video for that. Then you need like uh, a DHCP server for that. DNS server, yes, it will be my DNS server. Mm, it's all for this. Next. Next. Again, next, next, uh, next, okay, install. So here it will start to install the features and rule that uh, we told the server to be. So it, uh, the server will install actually the uh, domain controller, DCP server, and DNS server. So this server in the DMZ will be like uh, all in one. Domain controller, yes. DCP server, yes. DNS, yes. And it can be also file server. So it will be like all in one. Let me just uh, pause the video and when it will be like a critical option to enter it, I will uh, uh, repose it again. So coming back here, feature installation, great. Configuration required installation success on DC server. Okay, so it's installed everything. So let's say close. Then you can find here that we have uh, Active Directory, DHCP, DNS. But we have to complete the configuration. As you can see, in the notification, if you open, post deployment configuration, this is regarding the DHCP. Post deployment configuration, this is regarding to the Active uh, Directory. So I will start with the Active Directory first. Great. 
a domain control to existing domain no i don't have existing domain this is a fresh completely new one uh, add a new domain to an existing force again i don't have existing force so add a new force i'm going to add a new force because this is a fresh and not associated with anyone so root domain name it will be ccie dot local as we use in the firewall so let's be like our domain controller by this name ccie dot local next so now it's trying to get me to the uh, next step to put uh, a password for the database and okay all this so password you can put your password what you want and confirm it next okay create dns delegation no i don't want to create any delegation a delegation for this no no next that's fine so the netwise domain name it will take the domain uh, the domain controller named the ci.local uh, and it will map it here automatically just it needs some time yes it's ccie this is what you just make it ccie next great it's creating uh, uh, the database location by itself of course make it in the default next Mm, review options so these are the options that I'm going to complete configuration with yes next here is uh, verifying the prerequisite for domain controller operations so it will collect and gather the information for the prerequisite check and it will be the last check before the installation is happening so like some warnings, okay, as long as I don't have error, it's fine. And here, so all prerequisite checks pass successfully. Click install to begin installation. So I will click install. So here it will start inst uh, installation. It will take like a little bit time. Let me pause the video. Okay, now it's uh, finished installation of the active directory and it restarts by itself. Now, let's see in the login what we have. Okay, you have admin. This is still the local profile. This is that in the domain. You want to go to the domain, go to other. But I, I know that I have bug in this uh, uh, version of Windows Server. So I have to go locally and reset the administrator password. So just admin, uh, the password, I think it's black for the local profile. Okay, hurry up. Actually, I have a bit slowness uh, because I have a lot of resources uh, up, like four FTDs and one FMC and server PCs, like each PC also four. Uh, like if I go to the system status, see here, my RAM is almost utilized. So you need resources actually to apply like a big lab. And now let me go to here. Great. So if I go actually to this PC, right click properties. Great. So uh, right now we can figure out that this is not a work group. This is a domain controller domain CCIE.local. Uh, perfect. So let the server manager. Okay, so we go to the tools. Active directory user and computers. So let's put in that. Takes a little bit of time. And hurry up, hurry up. It's collecting gathering information, like this is the server manager that you configure the, your server from, the main panel. Okay, uh, CCIE.locally, great. I'm in the local profile, so don't forget, just 
what I'm doing is I'm setting up the administrator password for the built-in account so reset password and I will put my password again and you must change password no I don't do change password okay the password message has been changed great close close again close here so if I go to account account and I sign out okay then here again the a local profile so I will uh, click on other user then you sign to CCIE automatically put the domain name so I will put the administrator password and the password that I have set okay now it's applying the setting and it will uh, log in just again uh, let me pause it until the server is uh, booting up and collect all the feature and gather all its information to avoid the slowness so perfect it's booting up and you are in the domain controller right now so uh, let's continue configuration and now we'll configure the DHCP okay next uh, you want this for the CCA administrator yeah for this uh, domain actually comment the set of the post and install configure steps are indicated below. Great, close. I think we are done. Uh, okay, configuration completed, fine. So now this server is a domain controller, active directory, DCP server all of these in one so don't forget also our domain is cci.local so this is all actually for this video and see you in uh, another videos please if you like it uh, don't forget to subscribe uh, like and share